What's up guys, Retro Django here. Today we're going to take a look at one of my MS-DOS machines. I have been using this for a short time now. It's a nice working DOS machine. I love these. So we have this lovely HG motherboard that runs with, you know, Intel 400 and was it 30? Yeah, Intel chips hit, I'm not sure guys. Got a brand new battery installed to uh, back up BIOS and all that, you know. It came with a net card, so I just left it in. I didn't use it. It has got installed an AMD K6 uh, 200 megahertz. I mean, 200 megahertz on a socket 7. Um, this 200 megahertz CPU is really really fast for MS-DOS gaming. I mean, it runs everything. <laughs> um, I've, I, I'll, I'll always do this. I have installed a brand new 80 mm uh, fan that sucks in cold air from the front and, you know, gives a lot of cold air here. Uh, that's just, that's a must on these old computers. It has got a 2.6 gigabyte it says 80 hard disk and it has got the magical loading sound. We're going to listen to it in a minute, guys. I love that loading sound. It's, it's just, it's beautiful. <laughs> it has got this S3 graphic card, S3 VGA, S3 Verge DX. Yeah, I mean, um, MS does. If it can run, you know, Super VGA, then it's just all right. I don't use, you know, 3D cards and all that on MS-DOS games. Don't know if it's necessary, but there may be some games that will that will uh, run better. But I don't know. That that's just, you know, Windows 98. That, then I love the Voodoo 3 card and all that. But on these, uh, yeah, it's okay. It's okay with me. Fine with me. But the magic is. <laughs> this one has installed the Sound Blaster A64 model number CT4520 and this sound card is just magical in an MS-DOS machine. Let's just um, put these ones in. I mean this card it's it's highly sought after. It's maybe one of the best Maybe the best ISA sound card for MS-DOS gaming. Um, it's highly, highly compatible. And this is the value model. As you can see, it doesn't have the big RCA connectors. It has got these small mini jack, which I really like. So this card, let's just, um, let's enter a game. So, so you can listen to the different um, s uh, music uh, quality or playback or what's it called, guys. So I'm just going to install this one and give this beautiful, beautiful computer some power. Let's check out the power supply. It's got a power supply from Yes Technologies, 230 watts power supply. That's nice. This cable is from the CD-ROM drive. It goes in here so we can hear the music when we play games on the CD-ROM. That's like nice. Let's just check the back side here. As you can see, the graphic card and sound card will be installed here. We have the mouse installed. And I have got this little adapter here that can use, you know, the PS2 keyboards. Works perfect. So let's just give this bad boy some power and see how it performs. The computer is connected. That humming sound in the background is from my speakers. They make this mm, sound in the background. Nothing to do about that, guys. All right, so let's just give this one some power. As you can see here, this is the power indicator, the green one, love that. Over here, we have the yellow LED light. That's actually an indicator if you have turned on the turbo switch. Now, this motherboard is just too new. It doesn't has, have a turbo switch, so if I press the turbo button, nothing will change. 
but I just you know I just gave this one some power so we have the turbo on that's nice <laughs> and the red uh, LED indicator here is when the hard drive is loading I don't know if the, the, the video if the camera can pick it up but I just love that old hard disks loading sound it's, it's just beautiful guys so let's just um, adjust this there we go should we get this one a tad closer there we go guys all right let's just enter Duke and choose setup now check this one out we're gonna enter sound setup we're gonna choose music card and we're gonna choose sound blaster now with the sound blaster mode or what's it called this was how I was used to the music when I played Duke Nukem 3D and it was beautiful let's just listen to it nice but with this sound card with this a64 you can uh, if you have if you have installed windows 98 you can just pick up general midi and you can emulate general midi in windows 98 in ms dos games and it sounds beautiful but also here in ms dos you can just choose if the game supports it, of course a32 and then check this one out beautiful i love this card so i just want to show you the graphic card yeah it just works but i mean it's just sorry <laughs> sorry guys isn't that just beautiful so these ms machines These speakers, um, it's, it has got power on and off here, and here it's got 3D. And if you just turn 3D off, only the speaker up top <laughs> mono will work. And as soon as I press on the 3D button, then this one turns on, and we have stereo sound. Great 3D effect. Yeah. <laughs> As you can see, it runs fluid. Uh, I tried this on a 66 megahertz. It didn't run that well. <laughs> uh, Doom 2 could run on a 66 megahertz, but not this well. The loading times were not this fast. But as you can see, with this AMD K6 200 processor, you can play all the MS-DOS games ever made, guys. They run perfect. Fluid, and I have installed, you know, new cooler so it can cool down the case, and this beautiful, beautiful sound card, which makes this one an amazing, amazing MS DOS gaming experience. I damn, I'm good. <laughs> damn, I'm good. Damn. I took them, I'm good. Yeah, let me put in the uh Oh, here. 
he die? He survived that? Alright. Whoa. Oh, teleportation? I didn't, I don't remember that. Oh, 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 oh. Damn it. Nice. Love the computer, guys. Love the, love the computer. So I want to say thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this one. Just a quick video of my beautiful MS DOS machine. I mean, look at the loading speed. Isn't that incredible? Oh yes, let's get some Doom action. Look at the speed, guys, how it runs. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Beautiful. Lovely, lovely computer. Thank you for watching, guys. I'm gonna play some Dune now. <laughs> Have a great day. Retro Dingo out.